Hi, I'm Kayla Carroll. I am the Orida Council Day Camp Program Director this year for our Cub Scouts and I want to welcome you to our first ever video training for our volunteer staff and those would be the people that come to lead the stations at our day camps. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you who volunteer to be on our staff. We actually do 29 days of camp over the summer and we have about 3,000 boys come to visit us and we have a new staff every day. So that means there's nearly a thousand of you that come uh, to lead these fun stations and teach the boys. And the better we can support you, the better you'll be prepared to teach them and to have a great day at camp. Let me give you some tips for the day of camp. Um, arrival times are as follows. If you're doing a one day camp with the Cub Scouts, um, you'll need to be at camp at 7 a.m at the various locations um, and if you're doing a Weeblos camp either day one or day two of Weeblos camp you'll need to be there at 12 noon. The reason we arrive early before all the boys is so that we can unload the trailer and set up each station and just be ready for them when they get there. Then um, you need to bring a lunch with you and a water bottle. Um, you can bring a camp chair if you want and you can also bring a pop-up or an umbrella for some shade we do have trees at most of our camp locations, uh, but I can't guarantee that everybody's gonna get a tree. So if you wanna bring your own shade, that's great. If you don't need to use it, you can leave it in your car or whatever. Then at the end of the day, after the last station is done, there's 10 stations throughout the day. Um, we'll load up, you can have your last group of boys help you pack your tote and clean up all the station stuff. And then you'll take it back over to the trailer and help us load it if you would please. That gets us all home a little bit earlier. And we're usually be done loading the one day camps by four o'clock, sometimes earlier. And the Weeblos camps will be all packed up and ready to go home before nine o'clock, I'm sure. So welcome to the videos. Um, I'm gonna go through each tote separately and there'll be a video for each one. And we'll see you on your day of camp. Hi, welcome to Mission Possible. This is a station where the kids will learn about disabilities and um, get to kind of experience some activities with um, a little bit of a disability. Um, and they get to talk about famous people that may have had disabilities that were still very successful. And um, just to show that even if someone does have a disability, they are still valued and they have a lot to contribute to um, everyone. So when you go unload the trailer in the morning, you'll find this tote that says Mission Possible. Um, it does have some things that won't fit in the tote, so you need to look for those as well. Um, there'll be some crutches several pairs of crutches, some long boards, uh, two by fours, and also a large sized Jenga game, um, I believe that's coming. So then you'll go to your station location and unpack your tote and get things set up for the boys. There'll be a station write-up folder with instructions. Hopefully you will have read these instructions several times before the day you come to camp so you know what to do. Um, you should be receiving these by email from your volunteer coordinator. If you don't, please contact her and ask her for them and she can pass those along. So we do have a couple of regular Jenga games. We have cards with some famous uh, people with disabilities. And um, these are for an activity that they will do with paint. We've got some earphones, some Velcro strips, some glasses, and half sheets of paper. Each boy will get a half sheet of paper for the paint activity. Okay, so in your station right up, um, it talks about in the explanation section, it goes over um, just engaging the scouts in a discussion about people with disabilities or um, just different types of disabilities. So you may ask them um, what kind of disabilities they know about and see what you get, what kind of responses you get. See if they have friends at school that may have disabilities, because I'm sure they do. Um, and then you could show them the pictures of people that they may have heard of, like um, Helen Keller or Christy Brown. He was a poet, a painter, and an author. Um, he had cerebral palsy. 
Uh, here's a baseball player, Jim Abbott. Um, he won a gold medal in the 1988 Summer Olympics. And uh, he was a pitcher, but he didn't have a right hand, so that's cool. Um, one of our presidents, Franklin Roosevelt. He um, had polio and he was in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Stephen Hawking had ALS. Um, Marla Runyon was a, a runner. Uh, she was legally blind as a result of Starsgard's disease. And I don't know all this information. It's all handily written on the back of the card. So, And then there's a couple others. Um, women's table tennis and a Paralympian on wheels. Franz Neitlischbach, I think is how you pronounce that name. So you can have a nice discussion with the boys about um, that and they can ask questions. Don't be afraid of their questions. If you don't know the answer, tell them you don't know the answer, that's fine. Um, and then tell them that um, they're gonna get to experience some of these disabilities as you do some activities. So um, the two, um, two by fours, you can just lay right on the ground, have them use that as a balance beam, try to walk it with, um, with a vision impairment. So have them put these little glasses on with the black spots so they can't really see everything in front of them. Have them try to walk that balance beam with that. They can try to walk the balance beam with crutches um, sideways. So they have to move down the board like this, keeping the crutches and their feet on the board at all times. They could, um, I think we're gonna have blindfolds in the tote too. So you could actually put a blindfold on them and see if their friends can guide them through uh, or across those boards or whatever. Uh, to simulate um, other disabilities like missing digits or something, we have these little Velcro strips they can wrap around their fingers and then try to tie their shoes with some sort of um, hand issue. My brother, actually lost his forefinger and his thumb so he has to do everything with these fingers so you could try to tie a shoe like that um, so we have several of these velcro strips and you can have them do different activities with that um, the paint and the q-tips um, just pour a little bit of paint in one of the uh, trays perhaps the paper this goes in their mouth that's why we're using q-tips you can throw them away and we'll have a garbage bag in the tote and they can try to write their name or hi or whatever um, with their mouths they can't they can put this in their mouth with their hands but then they can't use their hands to draw the picture um, so they can see maybe what it's like for some of these people that were born without a hand or without an arm or whatever. Um, then you can have a couple of them put these headphones on and try to interact or play with their friends. Um, one of the games, they could play a Jenga game with the vision impairment glasses, with the headphones, um, with the fingers restricted, um, and they can use the small Jenga or the large Jenga. And then, oh yeah, that, okay. So um, you should have plenty of things to keep your time filled. Um, if not, I think we'll try to have some other game ideas in the tote so that you could just have them be active the whole time. Try not to talk for a very long time at the beginning about the disabilities and the people because we want them to get up and be actively doing something um, at the station. And you know, they can, they can take a lot of time with the painting or just playing around or whatever. Um, at the end of each station, when the horn blows once, clean up, kind of reset everything, get ready for your next group. And then at the end of the day, when it's time to go home, um, just pack everything back in the tote, make sure that um, all the garbage is stowed. We will have paper towels in here to clean up the paint. Um, you can just rinse out that tray or just get a paper towel wet out of the water cooler and wipe out the paint. Just make sure everything fits in neatly like you found it.
gather up the boards, the crutches, the big Jenga game, and take it all back to the trailer and help us load up so we can all go home for the day. Um, I hope you have a great day at camp with the boys. Have fun, and we'll see you at day camp. <laughs>